Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That helps on the way. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Reading a verse that has been preached on quite a bit here lately but let's go back to it again I Philippians 4 and 13 I can do all things that's it Billy that's the title I can do all things 
I can do all things. Did you get it? I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Let me read it to you in the Amplified New Testament. I have strength for all things in Christ who empowers me. I am ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses me with inner strength or inner strength into me. That is, I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. Hallelujah. Raise your hand and praise him a little bit. I can do all things. Amen. Praise God. Driving down the road. Amen. Having read many, many places in the Bible through the week and the Bible remaining and more or less locked up as far as any key text was concerned that I was uh, supposed to have yesterday as I drove uh, up uh, Roosevelt Avenue in Middletown made my turn I was pondering the mind of the spirit praise God going to see Sister Lois in the hospital amen as I made my turn up toward the hospital off of uh, Grand Avenue about uh, halfway up Grand Avenue between Grand Avenue and the hospital it dropped out on me hallelujah I can do all things through Christ who strengtheneth me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I walked into the hospital. I knew I had my message. Amen. It was all I had. As I walked into the room where Sister Lois was, she was better. Amen. Talking about going home tomorrow, which would have been today. She didn't get to go. Amen. And I said, well, all I can do, Sister Lois, is give you what God gave me as I drove up the road. I said, here's what he gave me. He said, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Her head flew back and tears burst out of her eyes. It struck her like a bolt of lightning. It was God speaking to Lois yesterday afternoon somewhere around 4 35 o'clock. Praise God. I can do all things. Praise God. You ever get the idea or the thought or the frustrating attitude? I don't know how to handle this. I don't know the answer to this situation. I don't know what to do. Amen. If you've been a pastor of a church very long, you've had it. Amen. I mean, praise God, like my son-in-law was telling me, I was asking about somebody. Amen. It wasn't going to his church anymore, and he just opened up and told me. What a problem they'd had with him. Amen. And how that, amen, they'd fasted and prayed. Him and a brother bound himself together and fasted and prayed for a week. And God had delivered that boy from that troubling devil. Amen. That was causing him to disrupt the church. Praise God. Amen. And put him in Bible school. Hallelujah. And that was the last one in the family, praise God, to get on the rock. Amen. The whole family had been saved now and was on the rock for God. Amen. And the father walked up to the pastor and said, Now you've won all of my children to God and won my whole family to God and now we're going to leave this church. We want to go to another church and do what we want to do. Amen. Instead of handing the pastor a thousand dollars and saying, Pastor, we appreciate you. Amen. And take a vacation. Amen. They said, We're leaving you and we're going to another church. Amen. You just don't know how to cope with that sometimes. Amen. 
I'd put my neck out for my friend in Barville, Kentucky. Taught him the drywall trade when he couldn't even read a carpenter's rule. Amen. And now he's becoming a success at it. His home was falling apart. Amen. And his wife was leaving him. And his life was a wreck. Amen. And we fasted and prayed. The church did for three days for them. He called me up and said, Praise God. I'm saved now. Amen. And I love everybody. Amen. Just a few days drywall in the house. Uh, amen. On the west, uh, southwest part of Barberville, Kentucky. He told me on the job. He said, uh, we're going to go to the Baptist church. I said, brother. I said, the Baptist church didn't fast and pray for you when your home was falling apart. I said, the Baptist church hasn't helped you like I've tried to help you. Amen. But he said, yes, but I think it's my decision. They went. Amen. And God knows I had done all that a man could do for them. Amen. To help them and to see them come out on top financially and, and, and church-wise in every way. I didn't know how to cope with it. I didn't know how to handle it. But I found out, praise God, that pastor, you can do all things through Christ who strengtheneth you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Paul Jones, pastor of the Church of God in Cleveland, Ohio, still there, been there for over 30 years. He told me, amen, more than 20 years ago. He said, I don't ever have to change churches. Amen. He said, my church changes. Amen. I've got a different congregation than I had before. He said, I just well to stay. And so he stayed. Praise God. You know what Paul Jones found out in Cleveland? Amen. Since they're going to leave anyhow, amen. Send a few out here and there and start some new churches. Amen. So there's a dozen or more new churches started in Cleveland, Ohio. Paul Jones is still there. His mom and dad that went to my church, C.B. Jones, some of the old timers by the camp meeting remember C.B. and Rose Jones amen they're already gone to glory amen Paul's still in Cleveland Ohio praise God pastor in the same church how did you stay Paul I'll tell you he can tell you I have found out I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me you ever come to the end of the road and say, Lord, I don't know what to do? I have, amen, several times in recent days. Amen. Lord, I don't know what to do. Lord, I can't handle this. You'll have to help me. Amen. Praise God. But I've found in every case, glory to God, that the Lord has said, I can do all things through Christ who continually infuses me with inner strength. That is, I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. Elijah sitting under the juniper tree begging to dry, die. Amen. And I guess, Mike, he was kind of dry. Praise God too. Praise God. After that great revival on Mount Carmel when the fire fell, it seemed that that was a long time ago and the man of God has said, let me die. I'm the only one that's left. God said, Arise and claim your future for God. Arise and anoint Elijah. Amen. You're going to have a successor. Arise, anoint Hazel, king of Syria. Praise God. Amen. The thing's going to go on. Glory to God. And God's going to still work. You can do it. Elijah, praise God. An angel cooked him a meal and he ate and went to sleep and got up and ate. Angel. Leftovers, hallelujah.
hallelujah, and all that angel food taken, he went 40 days and nights in the right direction. Raise your hand and praise God. Amen. To Gideon, trembling Gideon, who was hiding out to thrash his little bit of grain. Amen. The angel come to him and said, Thou mighty man of valor, the Lord is with thee. Amen. Gideon said, If God's with us, what are we doing in this shape? Praise God. Amen. The Philistines have robbed us of our wheat. He took everything away for us. Praise God. Amen. And God said, Gideon, you can do it. Praise God. After several dreams, amen, and some fleeces put out, praise God, he found out that regardless of his trembling, regardless of his doubt, glory to God, that God was going to take that trembling man, amen, and tear down the eyes idols of his father with it. Glory to God and the house of Israel. Yeah. Glory to God. And God was going to take Gideon and 300 men with some God sale artifacts. Hallelujah. And whip a whole army with them. God said you can do it Gideon. Get to work. Amen. Glory to God. To Abraham, praise God, uh, pondering lots captured by five kings uh, with nothing but a few trained servants. Uh, amen. And asking God what to do about his nephew that's been captured. Uh, glory to God. Uh, amen. God said, Go get him, Abraham. You can do it. Uh, praise God. Abraham, with his handful, was joined by a few, amen, ragtag stragglers. Glory to God. Uh, they marched into the midst of a drunken celebration of victory and turned it into defeat for the enemy and brought Lot back with all his goods. Because God said, Abraham, you can do all things through Christ who strengtheneth you. Amen. David had been pursuing amen oh yes he had been out on the battlefield amen and trying to do something for God trying to effect some sort of a victory for God and he comes back home yes brother Jeff Curtis amen you kind of got on the message it didn't bother me a bit I knew that that was the direction that God was going hallelujah amen the men said, David, if you hadn't have been so foolhardy and so pridey, amen, you, would have had, you wouldn't have got us into this mess. And he was already picking up stones. There was no encouragement. His own men were ready to stone him. But the Bible said David encouraged himself in the Lord. It might have been like this. I can do all things. I have strength for all things who empowers me I'm ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses inner strength into me and David encouraged himself in the Lord and the Lord said pursue you can do it David outnumbered and outgunned praise God Yo, David chased down the enemy amen I'll tell you what uh, glory to God if you are there back on your haunches uh, and spit in the devil's face uh, and whisper the name of Jesus uh, glory to God you do more than you think you can amen praise God as David blubbered out his tearful prayer Shall I pursue? God said, pursue. You can do it, David. Now I'll tell you something tonight. This is what God told me to tell you. God is no respected person. Oh, if God is no respected person, and he is, amen, I too can do all things through Christ who strengtheneth me. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I'll tell you what. Amen. 
Amen. You can do it through Christ. Amen. John 15, 5, Jesus said, Without me, you can do nothing. The branches must be in the vine. How many are saved tonight? Some of you shot both hands up and you didn't hesitate one minute. Praise God. That's because your branches are in the vine. You've taken time lately to examine yourselves to see if you be in Christ or if Christ be in you except ye be reprobates. Praise God. Uh, that's it, brother. That settles it once and for all. If you're connected to the vine, your branch is connected to life. Uh, you are invincible. With him, you can do all things. Without him, you can do nothing. Praise God. So that's all that really matters. If we'll believe God, God will take care of the rest. Praise God. Strengtheneth me. Amen. He infuses me. One verse says continually infuses me with strength. Praise God. I'll tell you tonight, praise God, you can survive in our time. You can survive under your particular situation. Yes. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. As a Christian, you don't have to backslide. Come on. As a preacher, evangelist, missionary, pastor, a preacher, evangelist, the missionary, or pastor, why? You don't have to backslide. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Paul here was living by faith. Amen. In the fifth chapter of Philippians. Amen. He, he knew whether he was abounding or whether he was abased. Amen. He had learned to be content. He said, whether I'm full or whether I'm hungry and suffering need, I've learned to be content in whatever state I'm in. Amen. Glory to God. And Sister Corn, Brother Corn was out evangelizing and stopped to sleeping in the car, didn't have money to get a motel. Amen. Way up here in the edge of Pennsylvania, Sister Corn cried out loud, Lord, do you know where we are? He does, and you can do it. Amen. Amen. Paul, with your painful thorn in the flesh, God is whispering in your ear while you fast and pray, my grace is sufficient for thee. You can do it, Paul. Praise God. Paul said not only, amen, glory to God, can I make it? My strength, which is Christ, is made perfect in weakness. Praise God. Hallelujah. Not only did he make it, not only did he prevail, not only was he victorious, amen, he learned something else. He said, now I most gladly will glory in my infirmities. That, that, 12th chapter of 1 Corinthians that the power of Christ might rest upon me it's this simple folks amen you can't climb a mountain till there's a mountain to climb you can't whip an army till there's an army attacking amen God can't uncover his arm for you when everything's all right amen but when you're looking the devil in the face and you don't know the way out praise God you can remember brother Collins message God is no respect of persons and if he did it for them he'll do it for me and I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me I'll make it through this one and the next one and the next one because Jesus lives amen say it with me Jesus lives Jesus lives amen. 
Therefore, amen, I take pleasure in necessities. <laughs> Ooh, that's a big order. Amen. I take pleasure, he said, in persecutions. That's even a bigger order. Amen. I take pleasure in distresses. Amen. <laughs> Woo, for Christ's sake. Glory to God. I mean, you come a long way. <laughs> I'm not going to say the rest of it. You come a long way, Christian. <laughs> Woo, you come a long way, child of God. And you can say, I take pleasure in necessities. You come a long way. You say, I take pleasure in persecutions. You come a long way. And you say, I take pleasure in distresses. You come a long way. When you say, not only do I love my enemies, I pray for them and do good to them that hate me and despitefully use you. God's about to come to your rescue. You might not have noticed it. Amen. Woo! Amen. But faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Amen. Able to leap tall buildings with a single bound. Amen. But in that brother, he's on the way. The supernatural, divine, Holy Ghost answer to your need and your request. Raise your hands and praise Him a little. Woo! Glory to God. You come a long way down the road for God a few years. Amen. What do you say, Tim, brother? Brother Curtis, praise God. Uh, amen. Some here 15. Uh, is that what you said, Randy? About uh, close to 20, didn't you? Amen. Close to 20 years ago. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, amen. You come a long way when you can say, For when I am weak, then am I. Then am I. Then am I. When I am weak, then am I what? Say it again. Say it loud. When are you strong? When I am weak, then am I strong. Why? Because, amen, that's when God gets the glory. And nothing else works except Him. And he likes to work when nothing else will tonight. You're facing a mountain that's hard to climb. Amen. You're facing trouble in your church. Preacher somewhere listening. Amen to this, this tape. Hold on just a little bit longer. Amen. Brother said last night he was looking for the light in the end of the tunnel. And he thought he saw it. And it was a train coming head on. Amen. Praise God. It too will pass. I never seen a train so long that 125 cars didn't pass after a while. It too shall pass. Oh, glory to God. The roadblock won't last forever. If I can find a way, I'll drive around. If I have to go 10 miles out of the way, amen. And finally, when I get there, well, I says, see that? If you'd wait, there goes the last car. Amen. I don't care. I said, I'd rather be moving than waiting for a train. Praise God. Amen. Lord, I hate to wait on them trains. I hate to wait on them 100 cars. Amen. There's one consolation, however. If you come up to the railroad track with the lights are flashing and you can't see no engine and there's already boxcars are passing, take courage. It might be halfway gone already. Hallelujah. But there never was such a long train. There never was such a long hill. 
but what there's a top to it after a while and there was such a deep valley praise God but what there was a bottom to it after a while hell amen and say I'm not in the valley I'm just changing mountain tops how do you do it preacher how you made it praise God I can do all things through Christ which strengthen me let's stand together and repeat it as they give us a song I can do all things through Christ which strengthen me give him the praise tonight. amen oh God why am I in this trouble oh God why am I in this affliction oh God why have I got this throne for instead of a throne I got a thorn amen and then suddenly praise God through the mist and through the fog there's a sweet warm feeling that John Wesley felt at that Moravian prayer meeting and left with his heart strangely warmed I'll tell you what it is it's amazing grace grace for the thorn because you see even though you're facing loss battles trials frustration and even betrayal it would seem amen my grace is sufficient for thee and after it's all said and done you'll say with the saints and the orators and the great preachers, the golden tongued and the silver tongued preachers of bygone days. But nobody will be able to say it better than you. Amen. It's worth having this thorn with his grace. His amazing grace. It's worth going through these dark times to feel his amazed grace. How many ever felt the prayers of God's people? Have you? My God, what a feeling that is. When you feel like it's not you, it's nothing you're doing, you're going through it, but somebody go to hold of God, brother. Somebody, maybe down in the basement, amen. Somebody, amen, in that loft in the attic. Somebody laying on their face in that favorite place calls your name. And angels and the Holy Ghost in a measure heretofore unexcelled come rushing to the rescue. Heaven comes to your aid because God has brought your name to remembrance in heaven. Your trusting faith, praise God, has soared to the pearly gates. And faith is legal tender in the bank of heaven. God said, give them anything they want. Praise God. Hallelujah. Father, challenge our hearts tonight. Oh, God, to know tonight that we can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Amen. Amen. Oh, my friend in Kentucky never did get fully back in church. I went back to whole revival 1972. Praise God, baptized 35 first timers. 50 people got saved. His children all got baptized. Amen. But Bill and Cleta never did fully come back. They're out tonight, have been for 25 years. I often think what might have been if they'd have stayed in church, Mark. If they'd have stayed in their altar. Amen. Yes, you did the right thing Wednesday night, Teresa. It'll be better for you because you came to his altar and wouldn't let go. 
Amen. Come on, as they say. You'll find it here. God has spoken to your need. And you can make it. You can make it. Preacher, you can make it. What Preacher's wife, you can make it. Your Sunday school teacher, superintendent, deacon, elder, trustee. Young people, you can make it. Lift up the form of the din of the smears and the crowd and the mockery of your peers. The voice of Jesus says, you can do all things. Pursue how shall we come along? What can he do for you? Oh, helpless and blue. He'll do what other powers can never do. Hear every time you pray. Drive all the clouds away. Turn darkest night to day. That's what he can. 